husband has an awards banquet to go to tonight and I am his plus one. So I go into a little bit more about that during my super chatty get ready with me. But this is the finished look. Stay tuned if you're interested. Okay, I'm going to start by priming with the Pixi Flawless and Poreless Primer. I am not sure if I really like this. It's a bit skin toned, which is a little bit nice, but I don't know. Like I feel like it doesn't mattify at all, which kind of irks me in terms of a primer lately. I mean, I used to not care. I used to really like this, but... And in fact, they have a luminous version that I liked as well. But, so I'm putting on like a really light layer of that. So, I'm just going to do, you know, one of my chat through it kind of things. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Under Eye Primer. It does have a squeeze applicator, but I like getting just the tiniest amount on my finger. I will do my nails before I leave, but it's quiet now and I have time to film this, so I'll just touch up my makeup a little bit later, but um, this dinner thing that we're going to is actually an awards banquet. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm married to my pixie, Brightening Peach. Um, an auto technician and so we don't do a lot of like fancy work things or go out things but he's also um, we own our own business but he's also a um, instructor at one of the local schools and so this is an awards banquet for that so it's really fun we don't really get to dress up and go out very often so we're pretty excited about that my mom's gonna come and babysit so that'll be really good I know I look super pale I'm sorry the light doesn't really lend itself. So before this, I did go ahead and, um, I know I'm putting this all over my face, but I always do, I don't know, when I'm getting super dressed up. Okay, and this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. Like I said, in one of my videos, I just take a little bit and I put it in the top, and I use my concealer brush and just kind of blend that in. So I'm not going for like a super made up look. I mean, it's not that formal. But also, I mean, it's going to be a bunch of mechanics and their people and um, my husband's students and that kind of thing. So it's not really like, you know, that kind of crowd. I mean, I love those people. That's not a dig on them at all in any possible way. Like, I am those people as well. But, um, you know, it's not like a full flash of kind of extravaganza. So I do want to have like kind of bright and flawless skin. My dress is really simple and so I'm just going for kind of a simple um, bright and springy look and we're done. Just kidding. This is the Chella, um oh you know what else I would like to put it up on my eyebrows. I need so much help right now but it's just not happening just yet but anyway um I'm putting this under my foundation because uh, my friend Leah Wynn said that that's what she had read on the internet and she's so smart because I didn't even read the Chella website. But I feel like when I do that it does add some highlight and brightness without adding shimmer shine and that's really nice. So I thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing that little tidbit. But okay. So that's pretty much blended in there. So there's before foundation. And then I kind of debated which foundation to use. I'm at the end of my Bourjois Healthy Mix, which you guys know I like. And I have the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in 115 Buff Beige. And I did decide to go with that one because I feel like it works just a little bit better on my combo skin than the um, Bourjois Healthy Mix. I feel like the Healthy Mix is amazing when my skin is dry. Like you don't see the dry patches. It adds a little bit of luminosity, which seems to be like a buzzword right now. Um, but it can, lately with my skin being really combo, I can really need a powder and I don't feel like it um, quite sets the way that this one does. So this is a lot lower maintenance. And because I'm putting on my makeup a good, uh, let's see what time is it, like five hours before we have to leave. It's just when I have time and people are napping and stuff. Um... There we go. This is going to be so long, you guys. I'm sorry. I hope this isn't really annoying. But anyway, um, my husband is an auto technician, and he loves to teach, so um, this will be a really fun thing. This is not, as you can see, like super full coverage or anything like that, and I'm kind of okay with that. 
Um, but we were friends before we started dating and he had come over to my place for dinner with a bunch of other people <laughs> and um, I had a Jeep at the time and he's, he's not a Jeep technician per se, but um, he had walked by my Jeep and gone, Corey, you know you need a radiator, right? And I had had it into like three different places and this is the Rimmel statement and asked for a radiator. I said, I want to pay for it. I know it needs a radiator. I keep having to top off the fluid. I can smell radiator fluid because, I don't know, if you guys are Jeep people, you probably know. You kind of get to know your car a little bit because you are asking it to do crazy things. But anyway, so he's like, no, there's a hole in your radiator. And he pulls out a flashlight and he finds it right away. And I was super, super grateful. So um, he did make me um, change my own radiator before we ever started dating. He... Um, He's like, well, I'll get you one at a good price. This is the two, my mini of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Um, but you have to put it in yourself. So he taught me how to do it, and I put it in, and we started dating shortly thereafter. So that was really a fun thing. I don't know, kind of to see how we work together. And um, I think, you know, as a mechanic, you get asked all the time, to do this out of the other thing for someone as a favor, especially when you're young. I mean, he's a little bit older than I am, but we were like 24 when I met, or I was 24 when we met. And so, you know, nobody has any money. At least we didn't have a lot of money then. And so, um, you know, I'm sure he was getting asked for favors all the stinking time. But, um, so I think he gained respect for me and I learned to put a radiator in a car, which is really cool, so thought that was really fun but next I'm gonna do my eyebrows I'm still working on this pencil from um, it cosmetics the what is it called brow power pencil it's getting down to the last bit and I know my brows need a ton of help I it's just if I do much to them I feel like they're too sparse and now they're like unruly crazy people brows so I don't really know we just kind of go with it but um I'm going to actually um, put my warm finger over it because it's a pencil and then I'm going to spoolie it and then I'm actually going to put the Benefit Gimme Brow over top because like I said they're just like super unruly. I don't know if it's because my hair is curly or what the deal is but I feel like lately they've been like all over the place so this kind of helps it set in place and gives it a little bit of extra definition for a more special evening but uh, but yeah so he worked on um, BMW is forever and now he kind of works on anything but um, I don't drive a BMW but his car he has like a 90 like mid 90s BMW and um, he just hit 440,000 miles on that so that was really stinking cool um, he's a really good mechanic but 440,000 miles is a lot for any car to go so we're pretty excited about that he actually bought that car right before we got married, like two days before we got married, he calls and he goes, don't be mad. And I was like, go on. Um, he's like, I bought another car. Well, at the time we already had six cars. So that was like our seventh car. So I was a little bit peeved. But he goes, well, I only spent $300. And I was like, okay. So that $300 car has been going for quite a while. I'm going to put this all over. That is the color heaven with my trusty Coastal Sense Medium Shadow Brush. Love this puppy. Um, just as sort of like a base color. Um, but yeah, all he has just done like regular maintenance and then some things here and there. BMWs aren't known for being like the most reliable cars on the planet. They're fast and they're fun and they're throaty and stuff. His isn't actually that fast either. It's one of the small ones. But um, but he's really made her go, and that might be the best $300 we... Well, that's not true. <laughs> Our son's total cost was $300, so I really can't... I really can't say it's the best $300 we've ever spent, but it's it's pretty good. Um, then I think I'm going to... Sorry, guys, I'm a little indecisive. I'm just doing this while I talk to you. Take this crown brush and take the nude shade in the palette. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette that I talk to you guys about all the time. I love this palette so much. It's one of those things that I can just pull out and just know that I'm going to be able to turn out something that I'm happy with. Super blendable, really 
easily access to. I mean, if you guys, you know, want to get it at Ulta or want to get it at Sephora whenever there's a sale, it's $36 normally, which I think it's totally worth it. I use this far more than I use any of my naked palettes. Um, it just is a, just the right, like, everyday palette, I think. And nice and compact and sturdy, and I don't know, I really like it. So, stuck that in the crease, and then I'm going back to my medium shadow brush, and then I'm going to go into Silk Teddy right here, which, as you can see, is one of my most loved shades. And it is a shimmery shade. Again, like I said, I'm just going for really, like, simple, classy, classic. I'm just going to pack that on the lid. Alright, just checking the time because I still have to get my older daughter from school. And then I'm going to go into the shade Push Up and just kind of go on the outer third of my lid there just to deepen it up just a little bit. Because it is kind of an evening event. So there's that. Sorry if this is a total disaster, you guys. I don't know. This I am not super good at these, but you guys were so sweet and said you wanted to see them. So... I'm going to go into this bottom color, which is Chocolate Martini. I just go in the corner with this as an e.l.f. crease brush. And I'm just, I like to basically make a line. I want to draw my eye up a little bit because I have semi-hooded or slightly hooded eyes. So as you can see, I'm just kind of trying to pull up and out. So I feel like when I draw a line, see that? And then I blend that in, I get kind of the effect that I want. I don't know. Everyone kind of does this their own way, but these are super pigmented shadows. Let's get a little bit more on this side. Let's get some out there, shall we? Okay, then I'm going to go in. This is an It Cosmetics. Does it even say? It was part of a holiday kit. And just blend it all together because I had put that some on the outer third and some in there. A the crease there. So that's the eye look before I do anything on the bottom. Can you guys hear that Nintendo's playing downstairs? I told my son um, that he could play Nintendo while I did this. I am going to go in with a little bit more of the classic Silk Teddy shade. Just right around my inner corner there. And try to brighten things up a little bit. And then I'm going to go in the middle with that push-up shade. And then on the outer bit with that chocolate martini shade. And just kind of blend that all together. You guys use your fingers a lot in your makeup or are you more of like solely brush people? I'm kind of like a blend of the two. I really like brushes and sponges and all that, but not for everything. Favorite liner of all time. This is the Physician's Formula 2-in-1 Lash Boosting eyeliner and serum yes see I got it this time love this so easy to use and I don't know if it actually makes your lashes grow or anything like that but I do seem to find that my lashes lately have been better and I don't know I mean that could also be because my thyroid is being better managed than you know it has been at other times in my past so who in the wide wide world of sports knows but I'm going to do the other eye and get back with you. Alright, so there is my eyeliner. Pretty simple. No, like, crazy wings or anything like that. But I find that if I wear a little something on the bottom and something on the top, it opens my eyes. Sorry, I really do need to fix these. But, um, sometimes I like to tight line, but I can't really figure out how to do it without poking myself in the eyes. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. Let's finish up the face, shall we, before I always spray before I put my mascara on, my, like, setting spray because otherwise I blink and then I put mascara on the bottom. So let's finish up the face and I think I want to go with this blush. It is my favorite blush maybe of all time. It's MAC's Blush Baby and I never hear anybody talk about this but this was my first MAC product, my first MAC blush. I don't know. I saw it and I had to have it. So there it is. It's matte, isn't it? Yes, but it's a sheer tone. So when I was very first getting into makeup, what I really liked about it is that it was pretty sheer. You know, I could add a little bit of life to my face without feeling like I was going to go crazy. Like, I love those tart blushes, but sometimes I feel like all of a sudden I'm looking like a clown. And who intends to do that? No one. The light. I'm sorry, you guys. But yeah, 
there's that. And then let's get... This is my Mary Luminizer, and I just pulled this back out again after seeing this on my friend Lindsay's channel. I will, well, I mean, I just started watching her, and I think she just started watching me. Hi, Lindsay! But, um, she's got a great channel. You should totally check her out. But she had purchased this, and I was like, oh, yeah, I like that. It's just so intense that I just have to use this lightest bit, and then I actually do a little there on my top lip. Um, but look at mine, guys. It's totally cracked. It fell. So it's had a rough life, but it totally still works. And how many times can I say totally in that sentence? Okay, and this is the time at which I like to do the very attractive and important work of setting my makeup. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set, and a little goes a long way. I got this in a Target box, and I've been using it a ton. I don't know if that's how much you're supposed to use, but that's what I use. And I let it dry. And then I do my mascara, because like I said, if I do my mascara before that, I blink like this when I spray and it gets all over the place. The mascara. The spray is supposed to get all over the place. And I'm currently testing out the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I hear people rave about it like mad and I had a sample so I was like, cool, I'll try it. Mascara is so personal and I don't know. I feel like this one is just a little wet. But maybe it's one of those that I'm going to love after I've had it open for a while. I think I've had this going just this month. Um, so far, so not that long. Maybe like 15 days or so. But I don't know. Jury's still out on this one for me. I feel like it doesn't give, well, it doesn't give the impact you would expect from the name. So there's one coat of that. And then I'm going to just not even dip again and go back in and do another coat. It's good, and it doesn't clump up a bunch, but I feel like there are plenty of drugstore mascaras that do about the same thing for me with a little bit more length. I think that's really what I'm missing from this is length. I feel like it's plenty black, and it does all right with the volume without clumping. And I'm also not a person who curls my lashes, so maybe the people that love this always curl their lashes. I don't know. Again, I'm not, you know, saying it's a bad mascara, because it's not. But I just don't think it's anything that I, I'm going to rush out and pay um, makeup counter prices for, or Sephora prices, or, I mean, I know you can get it a bunch of different places. You know what I do want to try from Clinique, though, are those, um, what are they even called? The Clinique Lip Primer Plus whatever, whatever, the new, well, the one I want to try is Beige Pop, so I don't know what they're all called, but I do want to try those. And this is actually not bad on the bottom lashes. Wish you guys could see better. One day I will get lights, I promise you. And the last thing that I'm going to do, well is my lips, so it's a two-step process. I'm going to use my Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in, you guessed it, East End Snob. I love the other ones that I have too, but this tends to be... Yeah, let's try to talk while I do it, shall I? This tends to be about my lip color, and so it lends itself to wearing really well. It doesn't... It's not noticeable when it wears off or fades or any of that stuff, and since I'm going to a dinner I figured that was going to be a good idea to have something that wouldn't be super noticeable. And I have aligned my lips now. And then I have a video coming up on these. This, this is the Almay Butter Kisses in Pink Light. And then this is the, I already have one on these, the Sonia Kashuk, every time, um, Shine Lux Sheer Lip Color in Sheer Fuchsia. And I think I might try out the brighter color and see what I think and then if I want to tone it down later I will because these don't wear that long but I think since I'm getting dressed up I want a little something springy so yeah anyway thanks for listening to all my chit chat if you guys have tried out the Clinique Lip Pop Primer Serum Lipstick things. Let me know what you think below. Also, I 
we'll show you my dress at the very end of this, but I have one dress that fits one and I have two problems I'm really short shouldered like extremely so like I need a bra tailor does such a thing exist I don't know but so it's hard for me to find I love dresses but it's hard for me to find one that's not either super low cut or the straps fall off my shoulders that kind of thing so I would like to find a place where I can find modest I mean I don't have to look like like I have sister wives or anything no offense if you do but I just I want to look a little like a little bit grown up. I don't want, you know, spillage out everywhere. And I like it past my knees, but not necessarily like, you know, floor length. I do like a maxi. Anyway, short story made long. Where do you guys like to buy your dresses? So here is the dress. It's just goes just past my knees and it comes in a little bit. You get a lot of decollete without any cleavage, which I really like. And yeah, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to mention that my earrings are from Forever 21, but I think they were last year. And this little necklace here was from Target, and I also think that was last year. Just things that are delicate and girly to go with a very simple dress. I'm sorry I couldn't give you a better shot of the dress. If I can get a shot, like a picture tonight, I will stick that somewhere in here. But thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me your dress recommendations, and of course, any other comments in the comments below. If you guys like Get Ready's with me, me, even if they are chatty and not at all professional please let me know by giving me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already I would love it if you would do so thank you so much for watching you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon